My name is Ratsing. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. We're going to be playing the Defect. Ooh, apparently we didn't even make it past floor one last time. Let's try and make it this time at the very least. All right, let's get one free elite here. Come on, don't short me that. Power potion's great. Doom and gloom really early. Oh, yeah. We're off to the races now. Cool headed as well. Damn. The second Doom and Gloom. It's way too much. I may just take Leap. I just want like like strong defensive cards right now. Damn it. Alright, so we don't get a free Elite with the Nyaos. Streamline Barrage. I mean, we can now actually make use of a Barrage. Data disc, start each combo with one focus. Oh, hoo -hoo. man, this is incredible. So next turn, Doom and Gloom Strike wakes the enemy up. That makes sense. And then we just leave that Dark Orb gestating in the back line as long as it possibly can. Defend. Elsewise. Come on. Dual cost. I'll go cool headed first, then dual cast, then defend. Just so that this next Dark Orb, when it's ready to fire off, is ready to kill the enemy. Great. There goes Log Volan. We take Old Coin upon pick up gain 300 gold, as well as another Leap. Still happy to take those right now. Do I upgrade them? No, dual cast, definitely. Dual cast saves a mana. It's always going to be a card that I pretty much want to play. Pretty much always going to be a card that I want to play. Pretty much always going to be a card that I want to play. Just triple checking that with my own brain up there. Got the AOK -okay back. Ugh, 16. Vulnerability on this turn, and then... Okay, never mind. We could have died if it was vulnerability this turn. Come on. Deal cost. Art of War, if you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn, as well as boot sequence for extra block on the first turn. I mean, this is all just coming up for us. Uh, Pocket Watch, whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of the next turn. I think I'll rest here so that I can happily go for another Elite later. Three cards played, I get my extra draw. There's no way I have lethal here, right? 18, 18, and then I can't evoke another one. Never mind, it's fine. Wait, hang on. I might have lethal. It would be... Zap, Doom, and Gloom. Moves this forward. So 9 to the enemy, 9, 26. That's lethal. All for one in this deck. No, it doesn't make any sense. Defensive. No, nothing makes sense there in terms of defensive. And don't want the Swift Potion. All right. Uh, I'm going to hit this as an upgrade for Doom and Gloom. Next one is another upgrade for Doom and Gloom. AoE next floor. Got to get ready for it. Ooh, next one is a AoE for the next floor. Beautiful. Hey, and both of those have set us up pretty well for this combat. I'm use the Gambler's Brew here on turn one just because I don't want to miss out. As much as we were about to. Shame to get both Doom and Glooms in the same hand, but yeah, it happens. Great. Absolutely great. Strike as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <gasps> oh. 
beautiful. Bottle Flame upon pickup, she's an attack. Start each combat with that in her opening hand. Put a Doom and Gloom in her opening hand, guaranteed. And then take a reinforced body. My god. My god. I, I, like, a couple copies of Darkness? Maybe? I don't even know if we need that, though. Shame to get both Doom and Glooms in the opening hand there, though. At least I have reinforced body for full power next turn. Okay. Then I can doom and gloom. As well as pop two slimes here, right? What do I doom and gloom again right now? No, I pop the slimes. It's fine. Boss is only putting three more in the deck, so I'm still kind of okay. So pop this slime, definitely. Strike as well. Do nothing else. All right, next turn is possibly dual cast for the kill. And if it's not, then well, we'll still get a pretty reasonable amount of damage out of there. This pocket watch is incredible right now. Goodbye, boss, and hello to none of them. They're all complete garbage here, none of them. Uh, being limited on my future card choices isn't that bad, I don't think. I'm gonna take Busted Crown. Like, only thing I want past this point is Darkness, this is an un uncommon card. And, like, Charge Battery, which is common. Wait for a shop to give me those. Uh, I'm I'm gonna choose the four elite path, despite the fact that it is much more risky. Because I want to. I don't need to use my thorns potion here. Might be a better opportunity later, so I'll hold off. Really? As it turns out, there was no better opportunity later. At the very least, we'll take no damage. Alright. Defrag makes a lot of sense here. One, I know we had the possibility of picking it up on the first floor, but one shield would be so great right now. Uh, cool headed just to queue up the right attack afterwards. God, that's so powerful. Cold snap's not necessary. Yeah, I'm going for all four elites. This is a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. So I'm going to elect not to play Defragment this turn so that I get the effect of the Pocket Watch instead. I think that extra three draw could be more valuable. Well, it got me past the Garbage Hand. That could be important. We're still always three cards ahead of where we otherwise would have been if we didn't go for it. Again, holding off on playing an extra card there. Although it also gives us extra energy this turn this time. So if I dual cast the frontliner loses 56. Actually, no, they don't. Backliner would lose all of that. Uh, okay. So double attack the frontliner, then the dual cast targets them so I can actually kill them. Unfortunately, the Pocket Watch is not going to trigger now, but I do have a Dark Orb just gestating there. And that's going to be our lethal, uh, lethal, lethal soon enough. Beautiful. Uh-uh, don't want to go for the Ice. Go for the Ice is going to invalidate the Pocket Watch a lot of the time. Too much of the time. Okay. 
and hold off on playing cards for the sake of the pocket watch. Yikes. Defrag, strike, reinforce body. The only thing that really makes sense here. Well, at the very least, that frontliner dies to a single Doom and Gloom. Possibly I have that in the next hand. Actually, it was guaranteed because of the pocket watch. There's that Doom and or Gloom. And then I'll accept two damage this turn. Just sets up the lethals. Yeah. Streamline, still not needed. Double Doom and Gloom opener. Oh, that's good. This turn is just defend as much as is humanly possible. The enemy is doing 24 damage this turn. If I weaken them, they're dealing 18, 24, 18, differential of 6, 8. So I save myself just 6 damage this turn. But it's pretty likely they're attacking next turn as well. All right, get weakened. I would have said it's guaranteed they're attacking next turn, but I've seen them only attack one turn in a row before, which is ridiculous. Dual cast gets us our kill. And my HP value is making me feel... Ooh, thank you, charge battery. Uh, my HP value is making me feel pretty bad about the decision I've made to fight all of these elites, but also I'm doing it. Palm Potion. I mean, the Doom and Gloom makes the most sense here. So I'm giving up on the extra draw, but... Oof, yikes. Hopefully it doesn't bite us on the butt. I say, as it very clearly looks like it's biting us on the butt. At the very least, dual cast is now a kill on... Oh my god, it's not. Yeah, it didn't matter which was targeted by that, because the other one gets targeted by a barrage strike, and then I defrag at the very end. Beautiful. So what, I came in here with 41 HP, and I'm making out like an absolute bandit with 24. A single self-repair would be so good for this deck. Tran uh, sorry, uh, Transformer card, I think, for some reason I was trying to say. Uh, Peace Pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites, as well as an Ancient Potion. Bolt Lightning, I don't know about that. Uh, I will rest here, just because the next space is another Elite. I don't want to die. If I was ever going to die against an Elite, this might be it. I'll leave the boot sequence in the deck. That'd be a great thing to draw back into. I'll deal cast that because I'm going to fill up the rest of my potion slots on the next... I was going to say next turn, but apparently a turn after that. I will leave the extra draw here. Six damage doesn't mean that much. Doom and Gloom reinforced barrier. So the enemy's incoming damage is 28. Reinforced barrier for three is 27. Yeah, it's that. And this is actually a turn where it looks like I would reasonably defend. But I also zap, I think. Sets me up for the dual cast to guarantee my lethal. Buy Book of Stabbing. Hello, Ginger. You can all become weakened as well as skim. I can't afford to take that. If I had more energy, maybe. Fossilized ceilings prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. Okay, now I feel much more confident with these final two elites. It is insane that the enemy still attacks me through all of that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
We'll accept the three damage here to be so much closer to the end of the combat, I think. It'd be really, really nice if I had ice cream right now, because then I could be planning multiple, multiple turns ahead, rather than just multiple singular. Try and get back to dual cast as quickly as possible, I guess. Just double dooming bloom, I think, actually. Right. Yeah. Essence of Steel as well as double energy. I mean, double energy can be useful. I'm not going to take it, though. Doom and Gloom definitely goes out this turn. Boot Sequence and Defend definitely go out this turn. So between both of the Frontliners, if I Essence of Steel here, I actually don't defend myself against any damage. Yeah. If only that gave one more block. Doom and Gloom both seem essential for us to win, but also, like, it'll kill us right now. So 13. I need to block at least 17 incoming damage. And if I Doom and Gloom, Leap, Defend, and Essence of Steel, I can do it? That's not good, though. All right, let's cool-headed first. I think I'm just going to leap, defend, defend. And I will use the Essence of Steel here as well. And I'll even use the Ancient Potion. This is going to prevent the Slaver from making me vulnerable. Dual cast and reinforced body at the end as well. So I get extra draw this turn. Dual cast was 100% essential here. Yep. Get two of those targets down, and then I will defend, which means there's no reason not to strike. All right, beautiful. We're actually going to make it out of this battle. Again, I'm going to have to heal after this fight, though. Which is fine. It's all fine. We're not dead until we're dead. Oh, it's another deep fragment. But I can't take it. I can't take it in that position. It's too many cards between me and my next block if I have, like, a bunch of deep fragments in there. All right, Sneko, please don't screw me. At the very least, drawing extra cards per turn makes us less likely to be screwed. I kind of want to just leave that Dark Orb getting bigger and not play anything else. Just make sure that I draw my extra three cards every single turn. I'm feeling increasingly comfortable with that as an idea. So I've got six energy this turn. Super useful. Mm, reinforce body. Oh, wait, no. Barrage, Doom and Gloom, Zap. Kill him. Poison Potion as well as Fusion. Pre upgraded. In this deck? Maybe. Yeah. Let's experiment with it. Let's actually give it a go. I'm going to leave this one to a 50-50. Hopefully we don't get screwed by it. Hey. Didn't want to have to waste a poison potion just for that. So this is defrag, fusion, doom and gloom. Would it be nice to have another doom and gloom active? It's okay though. 
We just dual cast there. Let it as well, and fine. Find something to do with the rest of my energy. Now more draw would make sense in this deck. Okay. That Doom and Gloom left in the deck would be so good right now. Uh, fine. Well, fusion, then dual cards, killing both of the chumps on the field. Oh, garbage. So the incoming damage from that is 42. We can block up to 38. But buffer blocks the rest of it. So there's no reason to block again, right? Yeah, we can get up to 38 and 38's not going to block it. Right, so we go for a zap instead. Now we can just barrage and... Zap, Doom and Gloom, Dual Cast? Yeah, that'll get it done. Gambling Chip. At the start of each combat, draw it. Uh, sorry, discard as many cards as you'd like and then draw that money. We're up against the Collector. I honestly think our defensive cards still need more upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, I still think our defensive cards need more upgrades. Uh, maybe even Cool Headed just draws us two defensive cards. Uh, draws us towards rather than two defensive cards. My goal here is don't get the second Doom and Gloom. We did it. Because that one at the very least should be played when there are more enemies on the field. Speaking of more enemies on the field, there's more enemies on the field now. Charge Battery Leap Doom and Gloom seems good here. It's three cards played and a perfect block. Got a ridiculous amount of money as well. Got to find somewhere to use that next floor. Alright, all cool headed. Throw three strikes against the back line in order to get reinforced body. Fine. I'm actually dual cast that there as well. Throw out this poison potion, kill that orb this time. So now the rest of this fight, I can just focus on the bronze automaton. And that's a gift. Okay, so the first hit we take is 12. The buffer saves us 12 damage there. Oh, double doom and gloom this turn looks so good. And I'll even throw out a charge battery for extra energy in the next turn. Hopefully we have a reinforced body. No. Not only did we not get reinforced body, we might not be able to live. Never mind, we got reinforced body, it's fine. Still kind of dodgy, even with it though. I can deal 40 damage this turn, but do I do it? Or is it better to just leave those Dark Orbs building up? Well, I'm about to play more Doom and Glooms anyway, so I guess I evoke both? Yeah. Take the extra energy for the next turn there. Okay, let's... Cool-headed... Doom and Gloom. Okay, so the incoming damage is now 32 overall. Yeah, so... Gain 27 from the remainder of that potion. 13, 27, so 13, 27. I can go down to 18, 18, 13, 31. Yeah, I can take one damage this turn. By which I mean three damage this turn. That's really bad. 
I just lost boot sequence and reinforce body and leap, and the enemy is about to do their largest attack. Oh, that's not the largest attack. Okay, we're okay. That said, I think I'm still dead. Yep. For exact damage, no less. Ugh. So that was coming together really, really, really well in the early. We didn't have the ability to pivot towards the boss. What would have helped us there? An upgrade onto Fragment, I think would have been really, really helpful. The upgrade on Cool Headed, I think, was also really, really helpful there. It got us the right card at the right time at least one time. I think it was Reinforced Body as well that it actually ended up getting us. So I think that upgrade did save us more HP than I lost by resting. So I don't necessarily think it was a case of just resting before the boss there. The Defragment being upgraded so that I would be growing those orbs a little bit faster is useful, but I don't necessarily think that would have gotten us through there either. Yeah, I think it was just drafting more defense. But again, this is a deck that was defend, 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 defend. Not defend, not defend. Defend, 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 not defend. Right? It feels like a lot of the time recently I'm running out of defense. But still most or like a large amount of my deck is defend. It's a bit unfortunate. Uh, more removals on those strikes earlier. Literally as soon as we were going with the Doom and Glooms, I think those strikes were just marked for death. Barrage was my attempt to get a little bit of single target damage in the build, but we didn't necessarily have access to it as much as I would have liked. If we had Capacitor, I would have taken one. Yes, I, this is a Dark Orb build, so obviously I don't want that many Capacitors, but I would have happily taken one just so that I can throw out some more Frost Orbs at the same time as well as have my Doom and Glooms going on. Another copy of Cool Headed would have been really useful. A single copy of Glacier would have been really useful. Uh, but I think that's probably about it. For the moment, though, my name is Ron Rhapsody. The name of the game has been, well, you can't always win. And sometimes you can't do... <laughs> you can't always win. And sometimes you can't... Damn it. How do, you... How do you phrase it? So you can't always win. But sometimes you can't even set up the circumstance where you might be predicted to win. But we were predicted to win there. That doesn't even follow. I'm trying to go with like, you can't always win and sometimes you can't even do that. But it doesn't actually make sense. That's fine. For the moment, my name has been Rantony. The name of the game has been Slay the Spy. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.